Cammy usually, you know, think things so thoroughly. <coughs> how, how do you even assess what happened tonight? Um, it's tough, man. It's tough. Um, nobody wanted our season to end like that. Um, nobody wanted to come out and have a performance like that. It is what it is. I can't change it now. Um, I know our whole entire group tried our best to, to to get it right as it was, you know, going south, but didn't work out for us tonight. Um, and, you know, it's not just tonight either. You know, we had some performances this series that we all wish we could have gone back and fixed. Um, felt like we shouldn't even have been in this position, but, you know, Sometimes things happen, life happens. I've been saying this all along, everything doesn't always go your way. Um, you just gotta fight and fight and fight. And um, now our fight, you know, just looks a little bit different. You know, our fight is getting getting ready to get back to to the, to the that end series. Curious, you know, from what everyone was saying yesterday, you know, guys are locked in, everyone's focused and it's like at a high level. How do you go from that to what we saw in that first half? I wish I had the answer for it because then you could have addressed it and nipped it in the bud. And I, you know, I don't even have much more to add to that. It is frustrating, though. You know, it is frustrating. And I, I understand exactly what you're saying, and I understand exactly what, every question that's asked. I wish I had better answers for you. I wish I had, you know, all the insight to it. But the best answer I can give you right now is that things happen. And and not to be a victim of circumstance in a victim of circumstance type of way, but in in, you know, a we messed up kind of way. And it's something that we have to own, you know, every individually, personally, because um, everybody had an impact on that game. And what I'm trying to say is it's not for lack of want, it's not for lack of desire. Um, sometimes everything stands a little bit more between want and desire. Obviously, we want and desire a lot of things in this world, and success is at the top of that list. Um, but we came up short. We didn't play the way we were supposed to. We didn't do the things that we did in earlier games to win, and they got comfortable, and they and they rolled. And you have to give credit to them for taking advantage of that. Cam, it's along the same lines, but how do you process the – the level you guys were at in the regular season, the consistency you guys had with that and just sort of losing it in the last two to three weeks, how do you process that? The regular season at this point only means that this last game was in our building. Um, you can't bank on those wins to, you know, you can't borrow one from the regular season and place in the postseason. You got to come out and compete. The thing is, when you have success in the regular season, you've proven to yourself and to other people that you, you're you capable, capable of winning a lot of games and capable of winning games in different ways. Um, and, you know, we didn't bring that tonight. And talking about tonight specifically, there's just so many areas where we could have, should have been better. And it, it leaves you with regret for sure. It leaves you with a lot of what ifs and wish I could change this. Um, but you, you just gotta, you just gotta take that. You guys proved last year you could make a deep playoff run all the way to the finals. Is there any noticeable difference you see between last year and, and this year that you saw? It's not the same. They're just different seasons. Different seasons um, presents different challenges. <coughs> and we didn't step up to that challenge today. Um, and, you know, I, I can't tell you guys enough how much I wish I could rewind the clock a couple hours. You know, and it's not the first time in my career or any of our careers that we've been in position where you just wish you could rewind the clock five hours but Cam, you can't Cam I know this is probably a tough question to answer right now but how do you kind of weigh the fun 64 win season that you guys had versus kind of the end result now um I heard Kel say this as it goes out and I don't know what he was referring to but you just you also have to be aware of um, you know, the entirety of the situation. I feel very grateful to be in the city playing on this team, a team that accomplished a lot in, in the regular season. Um, and, you know, it, the people that we have in our, um, 
and our program, the people that we have on our team, they all mean a lot to me individually. And it was something that, you know, a situation where I showed up to work every day, um, happy and excited, excited to be around our coaches, our teammates, you know, our, our staff. And you can't take that away. The pain of this doesn't take that away. Um, you know, we got all of us got a lot of friends in this league. And from everything that I've gathered, um, we have a very good group, a very um, fun group to play with and, and a great group to that fights together. And I'm not going to let one game um, strip that from this from this year's experience. Sam, uh, back here. I, I'm sure some people may compare this. We've already you know, asked some questions comparing this to the finals last year, but um, even in those games, it, it didn't look quite the same way as this one. Did it surprise you to see the, the way that this ended? Yeah, you know, I fully expected to come out here and win tonight. Um, and I don't compare it much to last year. <clears throat> last year, we were there every game. A couple of plays on the stretch didn't go our way, and that was the difference. You know, this tonight we we got beat in every asset, you know, in every facet of the game we got beat. Um, so I don't compare the two much. You weren't on the court to start the game, but you know, Luca had Dallas's first eight points, and you know, in that first quarter, he's posting up DeAndre, uh, getting step backs. When you're watching that, what, what kind of goes through your mind? Does it start to feel a little bit discouraged at all? Or, or how do you kind of react to when he has one? It's too early to get discouraged at that point. There's still so much time left. But you react the same way anybody else react, the same way everybody in this room will react. You got to do more to shut that off. Um, and we didn't. And, you know, it is what it is. But I, I see it. I notice it. Um, and, and he and he was rolling early and, you know, as much as I can say, I wish we would have came out and, and played differently. It, it's not going to, it's not going to do anything now. And it's obvious, right? It seems very obvious. Hindsight's always 20, 20. Um, but you know, in the moment I'm, everybody was trying to change that. How much shock was there versus how much resolve for coming out of the line? There was a lot of resolve. There was definitely belief that, you know, that we we could do something that was very, very hard and turn it around. And as a competitor, which we all are, none of us were gonna lay down and think the game was over. Um, we are gonna go out there and fight every play. Um, but, you know, I, I gotta be honest, and I don't know if shock is the word, but it's not like we went into have time smiling saying we're going to come back and win this game with smiles on our face you know we looked at each other and said to come back and win this game we need to play different and and the way we played in that first half was unacceptable and it's just frustrating man it's it's and it is you know it just happened and it is the final game of the season as much as I don't like to admit that but I still have to process it I still have to process a lot of it I still have to process this game I still have to process the series in the light of the entire season and and try to figure out what went wrong and, and what, what I can do personally to, to help achieve a different outcome. And I think that's all it comes down to. And that's what I'm gonna spend the next four months doing. Thank you.